Hey y'all, Flying High Five here. Uh, back to welding. Uh, sorry I took about a week off of there. Um, but hey, the thumb's all, all good to go again. Get a nice, up, nice close up there, you can see. Uh, no more stitches, got them out on Friday, so. Um, we're good to go, back to welding, back to cutting and grinding. Uh, with a little more emphasis on uh, safety. Because that hurt like hell. Uh, anyways, now that I'm done messing with the camera there and bouncing around, there you go, yeah. If you don't want people to get seasick, don't bounce the camera around. So, anyways, I got, uh, got some more of these gussets I'm working on. I'll kind of show you what I've done. Now that you got a nice view of the top of my head, I like to do that at least twice every video. So y'all can see, uh... See how much my bald spots grow in there. That's what it is, yeah. So, all right, here's what I did. I've got uh, got these gussets, right? And uh, I made sure to cut them from. See, cut them from the the same piece of diamond plate. You see how it lines up there, so that when you turn it, it uh, looks like one piece just continues right to the other side there. And. Uh, that also means that on the front side of it that it it lines up the way it should. I think I don't know. Anyways, what I did down here, let's see if I can get a good. Uh, can't see the screen to see what I'm showing you, but um, this is the first one where I've done a double sided. You know, I, I took two of them, I welded along this side so that I've got diamond plate on both sides. This set number, you know, I don't know if you can see that set number seven. You know, one of my favorite sets. You know, old number seven. It's like the old gold and black, except it's the old number seven. Uh, yeah, I know some of y'all drink Keystone Light. You won't get that reference, but uh, anyways, that's the first one that's double sided like that. That number seven is going to go up here, and uh, basically what I've been doing for these is I've been lining them up using my magnet, and then just zapping them a couple times to get a good couple spot welds on them and then uh, do that on both sides and then I, I run a good bead all the way along here joining the tube to the gusset and that should should that's a dirty word you know it's like a four letter word but uh, should uh, give me some more support in my frame and uh, I don't think I'm gonna put a gusset on the back side here even though again it, it's probably preferred to do so but uh, I think between the diamond plate floor that's going to be on here and the gussets I'm going to have on the front side, I think this section of the frame is going to be good and strong. So um, now that I got through the talking portion of this, I'm going to get just get to get to welding. I uh, I went to the local welding store. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if I can get this up here. I went to the welding store and I bought. Uh, tried to get some new consumables you know I'm using a Lincoln Electric gasless uh, flux core welder which the tip on the inside here is the same if you're using uh, MIG with you know your 7525 mix or anything your tip and your I don't even know what that thing's called uh, that's where the gas would come out you know them holes right there uh, when you're using a gasless, you know, the flux core wire like I am, 35,000 flux core, uh, you've got this little cap that goes on there to protect the the ports. Well, the last one I had, I don't know if you saw some of them videos, was actually burned off down to about here because I'm running a lot more power and not really paying attention to duty cycle. So um, I'm going to start paying attention to duty cycle, let this last a little bit longer. The first place I went to didn't have this cover and uh, finally went to Home Depot where I got the welder and uh, they had the cover so anyways I'm uh, gonna start welding here I'll let you follow along this should only take me a couple minutes and uh, let's get this zoom back to where it belongs there you go and focus I guess so uh, here goes nothing putting the gloves on because it hurts when you burn your hand when you cut your hand, yeah, I know. I'm only gonna mention that another six thousand times because I know y'all are worried about it. All right, here goes. Let's see if you got a good enough spot to, to do this.
helps you put your welding helmet on tight enough too. That's on there pretty solid. I can move my magnet. It's gonna be out of position for this last couple. Four pretty good tacks on there. That thing's not going anywhere. I could probably leave it like that. But I'm not going to because that doesn't look too good. Yeah, that thing's not going anywhere. So here goes. Like I said, I'm going to try and pay attention to duty cycle. So be on and off a little bit more than I was before. Still see that there? And cool down just a touch. Alright, looks like I got a couple minutes to finish this up here on the video, but let's see what we can do.
I'm gonna go over these cold spots and then I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll upload this eventually. All right, well, this is what I was saying before about duty cycles, so I'm going to give this thing a little bit of a rest and see what we can do. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Bye.